Good afternoon, average engineers. Today I want to talk about something that you've probably heard about unless you live under a rock. Is snowflake dying on the vine? What is going on with snowflake? Like sparks fly upwards, snowflake is born to trouble. I almost feel bad for them at this point. I mean, y'all have no doubts in your minds if you know my stuff that I'm a big fan of Databricks. I mean, snowflake is not bad, but they have been in the news for not good things lately. I mean, I understand the draw of Snowflake. We all have to acquiesce to the reasons that Snowflake became as big and popular as it is today. They did something right to get where they've got. You know, they brought SQL at scale seamlessly to the masses. And I mean, they are eating SQL Server, Redshift, BigQuery's lunch. Snowflake is probably here to stay, but it doesn't mean they're not having problems. I'm not sure if they just have had a string of bad luck or what's been going on, but I can't imagine working at Snowflake right now. Yikes. I mean, they have been embroiled in a large and much publicized data breach. It is terrible. Oof. I mean, hackers have been demanding Snowflake money from Snowflake clients. It's just been terrible. If you haven't read about it, it's a massive breach. They're demanding as much as five million bucks from Snowflake customers because hackers got access to their data. It's terrible. I don't know if Snowflake's ever going to recover this. This is going to be a black mark on them for a while. And then on top of that, Databricks steals Tabular out from under Snowflake. They swallow Iceberg and slaps them in the face with Open Source Unity Catalog. Oof. Man, Snowflake. Oof. I mean, look at the stock price. Look what's happened the last couple of months out of Snowflake. Ooh, man, down almost 40%, 30 to 40%. Ooh, that's not good. I mean, that poor CEO better be looking for another job. I mean, the question is, is this simply some like bad timing, bad things that'll happen? Is this just little blips on the overall trajectory of Snowflake's, Snowflake's long-term outlook? Will they weather the storm? and Or is it indicative of larger issues with Snowflake? I'm mean, not sure. It's hard to tell the future. I'm sure companies will survive far worse, but it's not looking great for Snowflake. But the question is, if you're a company looking to invest in a data platform, is Snowflake still a good place to park your data, invest time, money, and resources in future development, or should you jump ship? I'm guessing a lot of people are picking other options, but I'm not sure if they're going to just jump ship from Snowflake because of these troubles. I mean, when a data folks go on a hunt for a new tool and they're asking what should we tool should we adopt for our data processing, there are long-term decisions that the data team have to make. They have to look at stagnation. Is this tool behind times? Is it slow to adopt new things? Is it on shady fo footing? And they look at things like, is this tool have integrations? Do they have a lot of innovation? Do they add features all the time? What's the long-term stability look like? I mean, it's clear that Snowflake has been beaten badly in the AI and ML space. They've just gotten whipped by Databricks. They just can't keep up. It's kind of sad. All the negative news doesn't help. And then, of course, they're getting whipped on the data catalog and data lake format war. I mean, if you ask the question, is Snowflake innovating, doing things? I've actually seen some comments on Reddit, people being angry about the stupid little AI things that Snowflake's released or the dumb little assistants when they're like, hey, we need real features for this product. Why aren't you working on this? Why are you really... Why are you giving me this little AI chatbot feature that doesn't mean anything? And all I had to do was go on the Snowflake blog and I started looking around for big announcements like major features being added to the product, things like that. And I didn't find anything. I just found a bunch of fluff about this little AI and this and that. But they weren't actually releasing any concrete new usable features that actually make in the product better and move it forward. At least they're not talking about it on their blog which I would think they would be doing that if they were doing such things. As comparatively, you go over and look at Databricks' blog. I mean, it's all about new features, new products being released, things like that. But I also wanted to take a look at the financials there, Q1, Q4, Q3, kind of those reports and see what's going on with them. Are they actually losing customers? Are they gaining customers? I mean, if you actually look at these reports it actually looks like they're growing quite a bit they're growing like 30 percent year over year growth that's pretty impressive i also noticed that there are no that they have lists of customer numbers for revenue greater than 1 million and people who are on the forbes global customer list and these are increasing over time so that means snowflake's actually still growing its business and people are still migrating to snowflake which is impressive I mean, people complain about Snowflake, but I honestly think that the demise of Snowflake is greatly exaggerated. I think, yes, they've had a really rough time of it. Yes, Databricks eating their launch, but honestly, SQL's evergreen. It's an easy tool to use. Sure, they might not be releasing the best new features, but again, if you're on something like Redshift or you're just storing Parquet files in some data lake, 
or BigQuery, you know, Snowflake's an actual real option to replace those tools. There's still a lot of people running on legacy systems and Snowflake is actually probably easier for them to migrate to, especially if they're SQL heavy teams than something like Databricks. And that's clearly happening because they're growing their customer base. I mean, when it comes to Snowflakes versus Databricks, you know who I think is the winner. But again, I don't think Snowflakes going anywhere. They've had a bad time. It'll be interesting to see what happens to them in the future.